from the loan shop? Yeah. Oh, sick.
everyone who comes from the same village now? Well, it's not a particularly big village. Show me the presents. You said your boss was getting married this morning. Come and see the presents, you said. So, where are they? Well, there's no hurry. Monsieur Fardinard went out town yesterday to uh, sign some document at his father-in-law's. He won't be back till around 11 o'clock, and even then he has to go to the town hall. What's the bride like? Oh, not much to write home about, but she's quite a cat. Oh, her father's a market gardener, not in court. Felix, if she's looking for a maid, a personal maid, mention my name. I think so bad that we should vote for three. Bother <sighs> three! That son of a, that weasel, that boy, is almost as bad as his wife. She's a totally... I oh, must stand Well, look it out. She's always on a... Um, always oh, got... <gasps> oh, she has! She has. Every time Monsieur Bobert is out, boom, she's off as well. And the wind? And where to? You shouldn't have to work in a place like that. Besides, it would be nice to work in the same house as someone from our village. Well, same county anyways. It's all right, it's all right, it's only me, Auntie Desiree. Is it started yet? Not yet, you old back. Felix! <laughs> oh, it's all right, she's as deaf as a post. Watch this. Don't just stand there staring like a scarecrow, you old idiot. Go into the big wedding, are we? Going to enjoy ourselves. Oh, won't that be lovely? Time for Betty Pies. That's what I always say. I thought for a while we were meeting at the town hall. So I went to the town hall, but there was no one there. Well, they don't remember we're meeting here, so I came here. Well, it is Thursday. Oh, not now, thanks. Uh, would you please be honest, my dear? Be careful, it's fat, Joe. I love a good brown edge while I'm in there. Bye bye, sweetie pie. <laughs> what a charming young thing. When I was you a young girl. You were never young, you decrepit old crow. Just what I was saying. What a smart young <laughs> chap. Then all the toilets and get them all rubbed down, would you? Oh, what a nightmare. I can't be five friends. Oh, Felix. Yes, Monsieur. You're not going to believe this, but when I was coming back from Sharon's know. Where's everyone else, Monsieur? Oh, Where are you Still in Sharon's know. Oh. I came on ahead to make sure everything's in order. Have the presents right and have the decorators finished. Yes, in there. Well, excellent. Anyway, you're not going to believe this, but when I was coming back from Chancellor. That's Chancellor, my Chancellor. nephew, he's not the brightest. Auntie Besme. You go ahead, she's a better listener. <laughs> you're not going to believe this, but when I was coming back from Chancellor. Oh, oh not now, thanks. What, where is the blushing bride? She's on her way in eight cabs. Anyway, you're not going to believe well, this. Well, my dear boy, congratulations. Auntie. What's I saying? Ah, I was on my horse coming back from Sharon when I realised I had dropped my wig. We're all so proud of you. Now, where is the blushing bride? Uh, it's, it's got a silver handle. When I realised the show, whoa, gone out, searched everywhere for it, hundred yards, it was there, in a bramble bush. I nearly scratched myself to death. He's bound to go far, you mark my words. And way. then, when I got back, it was gone. No horse. You lost your horse, monsieur? Felix. I'm talking to my auntie's family business private. Oh, not now, thanks. It gives me wind. They do <laughs> say when husbands make good wives. Yes. Blah, blah, blah. Anyway, whip fell, horse gone. What to do? Investigate. Question witnesses. Oh, there's a horse up there that sat out of the woods. <laughs> Indeed there was. Mine. My horse eating a bunch of straw and poppies. And then a woman's voice. My hat! My hat! Not a bunch of straw. Not a bunch. A hat. She hung out on the bush while she talked to a soldier. As she did. I say, Tom Fan, you know what I really mean. Yes, the big house in the corner. I know it well, but I couldn't move now, not my age. Oh, what's the point? Uh, besides the fire station? That's what I always say. <laughs> I was just about to apologise when her soldier friend storms up. Oh, little Napoleon. <clears throat> I say, you there, chappy. Are you talking to me? I most certainly am, he says. I see how you say. He swings me, I run, jump on my horse, the horse bolts, and here I am. I did from my friends. Or was it ten centimes? I don't know, I'll have to check that out. Isn't that? Look, here's what's left. Lovely piece of straw. Oh, for that price, it should be. You have to go a long way to find another piece like this. A very long way. Trust me, I know hats. Let's <laughs> <laughs> have a lift. But Felix, this is a private hat. Oh, sorry. Excuse me. I'll just go where I'm appreciating. <laughs> 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 so, what time do you have to be at the town hall? Eleven o'clock. Eleven o'clock! That means dinner will be late. I'd better go and make some tea, excuse me. Oh, no, go ahead. You're a credit to this family. A real credit. What? Oh, 
When I'm married, be done with you, old battle axe. Oh, <laughs> not now, thanks. I went before I came. And be careful <laughs> with my present. It's fragile. <laughs> yes, yeah, so am I. <laughs> In an hour's time, I'll be married. I won't have that father law shout in. Set it up! It's all enough! Every five minutes. That's really. The man's a pig, a cretin. I met him on the bus, he was kicking my shin. I remember, sir. That was the day he came home limping. I was just about to bump him when I saw his daughter. Unclench my fist, handed his fare up to the conductor. After that, it was no time before we were born like that, me and her. Market Gardner. So I asked, can I have a pack of carrots? He says, no, but you can have some geraniums. It was my opening. How much, I say? One franc a pot. Bargain. I get to his place, I buy four pots. Your birthday present. A very touching gesture. Don't be sarcastic. <laughs> Those geraniums were the stepping stones to the next part of my plan. So I ask him, can I see your daughter? He says, what do you do for a living? I'm a gentleman. How much do you earn? 50 francs. Out a day. Stay! <laughs> oh, you should have seen his face. Next thing you know, I'm sat at the dinner table eating sauerkraut with Bobbin. Bobbin the cousin. Bobbin the blockhead. Always shaking my hand and kissing my fiance. There's no harm in it, says the father-in-law. They grew up together. Oh, that's another thing I'll stop when I'm married, I'll... Sorry, it's just that word, married. After all these years of being single. Oh, you too? Well, there we are then. <laughs> now it's time I'll be married, love on and all that. And kissing, without that fat head and his pea friend of a nephew shouted, Salah, it's all off. <laughs> Do I like wait till you see her wedding dress? So at the moment, everything is definitely all on. Mm -hmm. So, everything in the garden is lovely? Oh, everything feels nice. Oh, it's an hour to go, so everything's in order. Cushions, curtains, flowers and vases, clean bed linen. Yes, everything is perfect, sir. The bedroom's a paradise of polished mahogany. Where'd I get my hands in? Oh, she's oh, here! Oh, here. Oh, here! I'll get the door. It's a special occasion, after all. <clears throat> well, Don't you... with me! Please calm down! I am calm! Calm, steady! I, I, the woman with the hat to the pull in. How did they... Please don't make a scene. Leave this to me. <laughs> Didn't expect to see us now, did you? My dear fellow, madame. How kind of you to call. The thing is, this morning, well, it was a bit of a bad time. It's rather, I'm rather, oh, how did they find the house? Well, lady present, off the seat, you swine. Oh, I'm so sorry, but that, please do take a seat. Oh, the wedding guests will be here in a minute. Fine horse. Yours? Fine horse. How kind. So, did you walk all the way here? Of course we didn't walk here. What did you take us for? Uh, Napoleon? <laughs> a meal the time we really need to be going. Yes, the time you really ought to be going. Oh, I'll be here any moment. But still, seems to me like I need to teach you a lesson in politeness. How dare you? I'll have you know that I came first in politeness at school. <laughs> this morning you ran away. My horse. It was in a rush to get home. And you dropped this coin accidentally, I'm sure. <gasps> so it was ten centimes. I am so sorry, I just slipped out my pocket. And um, here you are. What's that? It's five francs for the house. Oh, damn it! I'm terribly sorry, is that not enough? I've got change. I'm not here for your money. Oh, then how can I help you? Apology. Down on your knees, apologise. Who, me? Oh, please, Emil, there's no need to. Leave this to me, apologise. Well, it wasn't my fault, I didn't eat the hat, my horse just saw the bush. And Don't apologise! You have to admit that bush is no place for a hat. A bush is not a hat stand. What were you doing in the bushes anyway? Bushes, soldiers, you have to admit there's a lot of questions that need to be answered. Sure, would you suggest this? Who's Tavernier? Who's Tavernier? I am. He's my cousin. We grew up together. Oh, they all say that. <laughs> <laughs> I was in the wooden thing to talk to him, discuss his career, stiffen his brow. <laughs> I beg you in all humility, please, I... Oh, for heaven's sake, I'm sorry, it will not happen again. Oh, you need to apologise properly! That is all you are getting! Okay. <laughs> oh, apologise! Oh, smash it, my furniture! Oh, I am just getting something! Let him go! Let him go! Someone's got his stem, that one! I can't be seen here, where can I hide? No, we can't put that! Let him go, down, down! It's all up to the love! It's all up to the love! This is more of a joke! You have no manners! No beating! Quiet to them! Well! What have I got now? The whole wedding party went now, Sergeant! Any scabs! Any scabs! What a 
about it. Why didn't you come down to greet us? Oh, shake our hands. I apologize to my daughter. Papa! Quiet, then. Well, oh, for heaven's sake, my dear. I beg in all humility, please, I... Oh, for heaven's sake, I'm sorry. It will not happen again. Then what is it? Why did you rush off this morning without so much as a goodbye? Oh, shaking hands. Quiet, Mama. Well, everyone was asleep. Mm -mm. Not true. I was polishing my shoes. <laughs> <laughs> well, quite a lot. Now I know we're simple people. Nothing fancy like a laddie da by his young friends. That's the way we got in us. But there's no reason to treat us this way. Unbelievable. No reason to be a high and mighty with me. Look, father in law, take a seat. I'll go get you a drink. You're not married yet, till I'm my lad. I can still cut the whole thing up. Break it off. That's right. You'll cross me once too often. <laughs> Ah! Oh, what now? Ah, these pointy shoes, they're killing my feet. Look up and down, Papa, you need to break them in. Oh, now they're all <laughs> at it. Have they bought the plant? What plant? It's symbolic. Symbolic? <laughs> symbolic of what? Hey, don't just start getting higher mics with me. We're simple people. Nothing fancy like your public school friends. That's the way we got in the song. But we know what's what. The plant's my daughter's bedroom. Once she's married, she can look at any time she likes and say, Ah! Papa! Ah! Maybe it's an epidemic. Papa! Wait a minute, what is it now? There's a bee sticking into me right the back! Uh, I'll get it! Oh, no! Oh, oh, God, we're so stupid. They grew up together! Yeah, she's not us Oh! Oh, they grew up! Papa, take it in there! No, 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 no. Why not? Uh, plumbers? <laughs> Oh, I'm in. <laughs> oh, right, oh, right. Walk around, jiggy yourself, that shake you loose. Oh, it's not good. I'll take the shoes off. Uh, no, not in here either. And why not? Uh, chimney sweeps? Plumbers, chimney sweeps? You're one of the good ladies, see? <laughs> well, everyone's waiting outside. I'm changing the cab. But I'll take your cousin's arm through the town or onwards. Yeah, you do that. I just need to grab my camera. <laughs> Where does she come from? It's not like Madame Anesa. No. Get rid of all else. <laughs> the Oi! You! Give me that!
Technically, it's only been five and a half. Oh, I never got that umbrella. I'll just get it. No, no, you don't. I want an explanation. Oh, that egg house full of guests paid by the hour. Clara, darling. <laughs> you said you'd marry me. I did. Oh, I did. I do. <laughs> if I find out that you've been cheating on me, I'll take a try. Shit, you must be joking. Would I walk in here if I had anything to hide? And now that's I remember. I need an Italian straw hat with poppies right now. Oh, I'm gone. <laughs> what is going on here? Why did you raise the cards? Don't you know? 
It's on us! Oh, naturally. I hope you enjoyed your orgy! Oh. Shame! 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 What are you talking about? We've just called you at it. Shame! Damn, we saw. Well, I deny nothing. <gasps> And the woman I was kissing just now is my cousin. <laughs> oh, that's mine! <laughs> oh, no, 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 she doesn't go out. She's a recluse. She's in the morning. <laughs> in a pink dress? It's for her husband. He likes pink. <laughs> right. Well, it's back on, but I'll give it back. Oh, what? Uh, right, everyone back to position. Let's start. Uh, uh, that's what are they doing? Like this? Where's the option of male's chambers? I must get changed! After him! After the motion! Go let me kill him! What is going on? There you oh, are! Clara. Here's your sample back. I can't match it. What? Straw's too fine, almost impossible to get in Paris. I doubt you'll find another. Oh, fantastic! You can wait a fortnight, I can order you one from Florence. A fortnight? I've only ever seen one land around. Where? Where is it? I'll buy it. It's not for sale. I sent it eight days ago to the Duchess of Champigny. Duchess? I can't exactly walk up to the mansion of a Duchess and be like, I had Duchess, how much for the hat? Oh, that'd be tough on the bully and his girlfriend. Guess I'll just have to get this marriage over. Oh, oh, oh so hot. <laughs> oh, there they go, boy, <laughs> Thank you. 
obviously Italian. The way they dress. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Well, I wouldn't know what to do with it. 
But I'd rather something else. Italian. Oh, a beautiful country, Italy. Uh, yes, beautiful. Yes, why? The palaces, the hills, the vineyards, Bella Passa del Amor, the land of Dante, Bellini, Casanova, the land of Chiatia, Minestrone, Parmigiana, the uh, Lacrime Christi, the uh, Fruity Misty. The Macaroni. <laughs> the Macaroni. <laughs> How soon to the vocal cords, my strength? Not to mind, madame. Macaroni always reminds me of eating a straw hat. A straw hat? <laughs> <laughs> An Italian joke, how? Funny cool, funny cooler. <laughs> yes, very al fresco. And, um, Your Highness, you must have received my note this morning. Oh, I cherish it. I mean, it's true what they say. It is true what they say. A stitch in time oh. saves nine. I do believe it does. Italians, such poetic people. Oh, she's had it. She's ready. No, she'll give me the hat. <laughs> Your music has brought me such joy. Mm? Uh. Such fire, such emotions, oh, such passion. Yes, yes, especially hat music. Oh, why won't you take the hint? Tell me. Do you ever play the singing? I've tried it, but God, bad, bad. Your Highness, in my letter I asked. Oh, I'll treasure it forever. Uh, why? Tell me, how high would you put the barber of Seville? Well, high enough to reach the scissors. Anyway, in my letter I asked, well, I beg. Oh, how silly of me. You really do insist. Oh, oh. yes, I. Oh, yes. Oh, you people are so hot blooded. It'd be cruel to keep you waiting a moment longer. No, oh, I can't get the bloody hint already, so I can get out of here. Do I offer to pay? Do you bargain with a duchess? There you go. Pay me to full. Um. What? Oh, she could have got my letter. Oh, I could kill that postman. Now, what are you going to sing for us? Sing? Don't be coy. You all know how much we've been looking forward to hearing from you, the uh, great Nisadi. Is everyone here insane? <laughs> you must charm and delight us, as you charm and delight your audiences all over the world. Audiences? Nisardi? Oh, she must think I'm... Your Highness! If I want that hat, I'm just going to have to play along. Nisardi, of course! Oh, I've got to think of something fast. Your Highness! Signor? Just once more, first before your guests arrive. The first guests have arrived, oh. madame. Oh, show them! Signor Nisardi and I are ready to receive them. Very good, madame. Uh, Your Highness, perhaps I ought to withdraw. Withdraw? Oh, surely the great Nisardi cannot be suffering from a little stage fright. Well, stage fright is not exactly what I'd call it. I just ask about one small favour. The county is... Countess de Chateau Gallier. Our bond. Oh, what a delightful surprise. I thought you'd be busy at the embassy. Ernestine, our bond insisted on coming along to protect me from your <clears throat> shoe stealing journey. <laughs> Our bond was always so very chivalrous. <laughs> Mademoiselle Ondine de Chateau de Ernestine. Dearest, so sweet of you to invite me. I've bought three changes of shoes. <laughs> In case he doesn't like these ones. Um, madame, can I just... My guests, I have a great treat in store for you. Meet the great maestro, Signor Massardi. Yes. Oh no, to meet the greatest operatic tenor in the world. Do you like to get a Bologna? The Prince Charming of all. Looks like I do have to play along after all. Um, ladies, gentlemen, the Nightingale of Bologna salutes you. Signor Massardi. Oh, that's my chance. Uh, Your Highness, can I just ask about one small request I mentioned? Oh. Anything for the great Nisardi. I mean, I hardly dare to ask. Oh, dear, dear boy, dear. <laughs> no, I can't do you. <laughs> now, this may seem a little unusual. It's the shoe, because I saw him looking at it. Yes, you must look at another shoe. <laughs> These artists. <laughs> it's my voice. Artistic temperament. It knows what it needs and when oh, it needs it. Oh, uh, it has to have it. Exactly, or it just <coughs> refuses to sing a single note. Oh, I knew it. Tell me, my dear, what's it want of your voice? Now, this may seem a little odd. It's the shoot. I told you so. 
Anything. Very, very odd. I'm intrigued. Um, your Highness's hair is very pretty. Um, I don't like the way he's looking at you. Perhaps we should call the servant. Shh. This is fascinating. My hair. Oh, no. Yes, yes, yes. It reminds me of that hat you were wearing yesterday. My hat? Yes. Such a gorgeous hat. It's a ravishing hat. Oh, you mean you want my hat? Th that's right. It's the shoes all over again. <laughs> um, what shoes? Oh, don't worry. Your secret is safe with me. Uh, I got you. Anyway, the hat. Oh, my pleasure, senor. You can have the hat. He wanted to go with the shoes. Uh, <laughs> thank, you, thank you so much. Not I'll send it tomorrow. No, no, I need it now. Oh, so oh my boy! Charles, last is mine, is mine, is mine, it's not mine. 
Yo, not this one, the straw hat. Where's the straw hat? Something. I need 15 minutes. <laughs> <laughs> what? 